In this video we'll cover how to handle 3D accessories and add them to your cabinet designs. These hardware visuals enhance your presentation and create a realistic view of the final result. We also explain how to apply and create single panel fittings. These are the hardware details to associate 3D objects with, as for example the pilot holes for your handles, which we want to include in the manufacturing and CNC output. 3D accessories are DXF files that can be downloaded from manufacturers websites or modeled in a CAD program. Another possibility is to create them directly in Polyboard. Let's see how to create a handle using Polyboard to design a 3D accessory. We start a cabinet using the manufacturing method Z slash 3D accessories that is provided with our quick design libraries. By clicking on OK, Polyboard sets up the cabinet with no panels added. We work inside the cabinet volume. We enter the size of our handle. Take a height of 200 mm, a width of 20 mm and a depth of 50 mm. Let's add a panel to start shaping our 3D handle. Add a double back with a distance from the back 0. Do the same again by adding a second double back. We have now two panels on top of each other. Activate the 3D view and create a split view by selecting a new vertical tab group. Select the second panel and change its material to a 10mm version, in our library the ZZ6. Select the first panel and perform a surface split using the slack value. We enter a value of 160mm. This leaves us with two blocks of 20mm and a strip of 10mm. Together they form the shape of our handle. The total depth is now 30mm, so we can set the depth parameter accordingly. We can add the screw holes in the handle by applying an inner tooling. Select the split panel, click on the three dots and go to inner tooling. Click on the plus sign to activate the tooling and select the circle with a 3mm diameter. Set the depth value to 10mm and the face to back. Now we need to position the hole on the two parts. Set your panel reference on the top center and change the position of the hole to center it on the part. In this case the value is 10mm in the Y position. Add a second tooling and now align it with the lower part. Set the panel reference to the bottom center and set a Y value. Don't forget to set the face on back and click on OK. In the 3D view you can now see the shaped handle with holes. These holes are not representing a hardware detail but only a visual. The hardware details will be added in a later stage. To be able to import this handle in Polyboard as a 3D object, we need to export it as a 3D DXF. Go to File and select DXF 3D Export and save the file for example as Handle 200. Close the cabinet. Go to Libraries and select the 3D Accessories. The 3D visuals are stored in the 3D Accessories library. We have a selection ready to use here. Click on the plus sign and select your file. Polyboard imports the part in the view window. Press Ctrl A to select all lines and click on OK. Polyboard imported three volumes, which are the back of the handle and the two side blocks. You can group them and delete the individual parts. You can rename the part if needed and click on OK. To use this handle on a cabinet we first need to associate this handle with a hardware item. To do this go to Library Single Panel Fittings. This is a specialist library for hardware that can be positioned anywhere on a panel's face. In the Handles section you have already several examples of handles with associated hardware details. Let's create a new handle. Click on the plus sign and name it Handle-200-Vertical. Click on the plus sign in the tooling to add the handle. Set the type to 3D Accessories and select our earlier created handle from the 3D Accessories library. It will come positioned depending on the way it was created originally. This position can be set using the reference axis in combination with the orientation parameter. In our case we need to use the Y plus axis to position our handle vertically. 
we can add a color and a brightness value. A specific texture is also possible. We can now add our hardware toolings for the holes to be drilled in a panel when applying this handle. Click again on the plus sign and set the type to drilling. Apply a diameter of 3 mm and confirm that this needs to be a through hole. Our handle has a center point distance of 180 mm and as hardware is created on its axis, this means we need to position the holes on plus and minus 90 mm in the Y position. Position the first hole on 90 mm Y position. Select the tooling and duplicate it. All you need to do now is setting the Y position on minus 90 mm. You can see now that both holes fit perfectly with the holes of the handle. Click OK to finish the creation. Let's start a new cabinet using a standard manufacturing method. We add a door to it and now we go to Structure, Edit, Single Panel Fitting. Click on the plus sign and select the fitting we created earlier, Handle 200 Vertical. You can now position it correctly using the panel reference. We set it to the right side. Now, according to the exposition, you can set the handle at a distance from the side of the door, for example, 50 mm. Click on OK and go to the 3D view. You can see the handle has been applied to the door and when switching to the wireframe mode, you can also see the hardware holes in the door. In your documents, you can see the hardware details for the holes to be drilled in the door. This information is also included in the CNC machining data. Here you can see a cabinet in transparent view with handles applied, together with other 3D accessories, as cabinet feet, hinges, cabineos, drawer sliders and even shelf bags. We have a wide range of 3D accessories and single panel fittings, but you can set up your own too. Thanks for watching this video.